so women in the very early centuries of Christianity had a much more of a place, as it were, mm. than they did in rabbinical culture. But then... Uh, but then even within Christianity, it sh started it, to shift? Especially in Christianity, especially. it starts okay. to, to close down. Yeah. It closes down because of a tradition in basically the 4th and 5th century, around the figures of Jerome and Augustine, that begins to tilt more toward assigning the blame to the woman. But okay. th even then, often quite ambiguous. Uh, Augustine, for example, who's the crucial figure in all of this, because in some ways Augustine is, of all of the early figures, the one who makes the biggest impact on, on the interpretation of the Adam and Eve story. Yeah. Augustine thinks the blame, finally, the principal burden of blame has to be on the man. Oh, he really? thinks so okay. for, for good mis misogynistic reasons. <laughs> uh, he thinks so because the man was clearly smarter, uh, more oh. able than the woman, and therefore should have known better. Okay, uh, like you can't really blame Eve because she, she... She's an inferior creature. I mean, the, yeah. the, the, the man, I mean uh, Augustine had, had worried, it was, he wasn't the first person to worry this question, but he had worried, why did God create a woman anyway? Why, if, if it was for companionship... When he says it's not good to be alone for the man, why didn't he create a man? Because men like to hang out with each other. Why would he want to create a woman? He, he said it must have been for purposes of reproduction. Mm -hmm. It can't have been for mm -hmm. companionship because that wouldn't have been an intelligent plan on God's part. So, I mean, you have these arguments, you have these issues being played out. Mm -hmm. This is 4th, 5th century. But by the 5th century, especially through increasingly intensifying monasticism, let's say same-sex communities, and especially the male same-sex community. So like monks and nuns yeah, living nuns on who are, their own. Who are, who are vowed to chastity, right. who are precisely not living with each other, yeah. who are not committed to finding a collective opposite sex. life, finding someone with, yeah. a, with, with the opposite sex. It's much easier for them, in a way, to harden this mm. position it can be done by married people too, but it happens that it comes out of this the, the world of people like Saint Jerome. Not that Jerome didn't know and admire many women; he had very interesting contacts with female anchorites as well, female mm -hmm. uh, monks. But anyway, you get the beginnings of an extremely strong, much more a strong blaming yeah. of the woman. 